There, there we, we are. are. We got it. <laughs> we were talking to everybody. You yeah. You know, well, at least we were. Us. <laughs> that part was working. <laughs> uh, yep. It's all good. So we are live now. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. It's uh, all good. So we are yep. live now. <laughs> Let me turn there. my volume down. Yeah, I always. Because I have so much lag. I live in New England, so. Yeah. Well, hello again, everyone. Good to see you. So one of the newest things Bella, our date, Nicole, has come out with is the multi-placing and single-placing trays. Mm -hmm. Which yeah, I have not true. had the liberty of getting one yet yeah they um we actually linked the guy that came up with it. it was a guy in um germany i do not i cannot say his name i will butcher it so it was a gentleman in germany we actually link him in the listings and he was the original one who created it um and that was about a year ago and then there was a woman in canada that released it and then a couple people in the u.s and then you know jamie was uh, laid up after knee surgery and he has a long list of prototypes like I'm um, it's probably like a mile long of <laughs> prototypes to do and I was like okay people are still asking for those grid trays so he was able to do it or we just altered our original trays and then just added grids but we did it a little bit differently where it has single placing so you can single place or you can do five drills or you can do like eight plus because I do a lot of multi-placing but also you know you need some single placing in there too so we figured we'd we always try to make everything versatile so it makes it a little more versatile having like the three options we felt like so a little bit different than what other people were offering at the time it's only one of the new things we were like <laughs> <laughs> you have to be innovative. There's a lot of people in the community that, you know, are picking up 3D printing, 3D printers, you know, are easy to get. They're not as easy to work. I fight with them on the daily, but, you know, everybody's getting them. And so you have to remain innovative, coming up with new things. So, you know, I'll come up with new things if and when I get to dime paint. And then, um, you know, our customers will come up with things or ask us for things. And so we're always trying to be innovative and come up with new things. So we have like a book shelf that we just did for our book cover minders. Did you see the little book? Yes. Cover oh my gosh. Yeah. I think I have, they're adorable that he came up with. And then we have the little, <coughs> where are they? I don't know. I have so many. And then we've got like uh we've got stuff for the, an event that we're hosting right now so we've got like cute little rainbow dragons and unicorns and then we found this little file and it's a mermaid cat unicorn oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> it was like a mer i don't know what you unimer cat or something I, and then oh, there's that's like, too funny and then there's like this cute little unicorn one and then what's the other one that we have? Uh, one. Oh, and then the other one's a cute little dragon that we found. It's like a cute little dragon. Aww. Yeah. So we always give credit. Like if we find files and then use them, we always give credit to the original designer. So they're um, in there for you to find in case you have a 3D printer and you want to print them yourself. Right. Um, then we always link the files where you can find them and credit the designer because that's important. So, you know, yeah. we all care about licensed artwork and we care about that. Unicat made. <laughs> <laughs> a, what did Anna say? A, a mer, mer cat category. I'm going to use one of these for our listing. I think we put the full name on it, but I think I'm going to have to change it to one of these. These are funny. Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. And they're rainbow, you know, we got to celebrate Pride Month. So we we made them all in rainbow and they just nice. print randomly. So we've got those and then we've got trays on trays on trays, just different kind of trays that we offer and different sizes because everybody, you know, has different size hands or likes to hold them differently. So we've got all different of that. And now we've got the, uh, the diamond paintings to go with them. Oh, so I finished so this one. Um, this one's by Joseph Payne. And it's called Lay's. So I finished that one. 
And then Donnie and I are both working on Wonderment by Emma Casey. She's in the community. Um, and so I'm working on that one. It's a dragon with butterflies. So it's super cute. And then I'm also working on Prairie Sunrise, which is our friend who served in the military for 20 years. He kind of learned off of Bob Ross and stuff. And right. so he does landscapes. So I'm working on it's 100 by 50 centimeter. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's actually not big. that big. I guess I got used to. I did like Train of Dreams. I did like half of that oh, one. That one's I massive. Seen that kit. And then I did the uh, Randall Spangler Thanksgiving turkey one. I just have like a small portion finished. So it's not as long as those. <laughs> right. The longest yeah. I've done is Artemisa. So, what size is that one? Oh, it's 100 by 60, I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, I'm doing, I'm better with squares. I used to only be a round person. Like when you first right. asked me and all of my kits, which is another reason why I'm de-stashing is I have so many round kits and I just don't enjoy doing them anymore. And so, right. um, yeah, so I used to only be rounds. Now I could do squares and I can do them pretty quickly. So that's what I'm doing with a couple of them. This one's round. I had to do like a round one to show because the rounds are acrylic. And you really don't need resin. The resin ones leave like marks all over my arm because they're so sharp. <laughs> like, yeah. Dents in my arms for days. And, you know, you don't need it, at least not yet. So we've stuck with acrylic with the rounds. But then we have the resin squares because the resin squares really make a difference. So they're a lot more sparkly. So we've switched over to those ones. But yeah, so I have sure lenses. I have to have one of each going at the same time. Oh, a round and a square. Yeah, I guess that's a good idea to do some of that. Me, it's size. Size. I, like, I have a small and a large. Yeah, going. And I have that year project that it's so oh, massive God. that there's no way <laughs> you're going to finish it. That was Train of Dreams last year. Guess what? It's still not finished. Right. So <laughs> the one I have out right now is Dreaming of Being Human by Dakota Dottweiler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's confetti heavy. I've heard I heard a lot of it, her stuff is really confetti heavy. I so, did um it was sunflowers and butterflies for the event that they were doing, the one from Craftably. And that one even has a good amount of confetti too. So I think her artwork just in general like renders with a lot of confetti in it. Yeah. What size is the human one? Oh, let me take that like here. I have 90 by something. Okay. Yeah, it's it's big. Yeah. That's a good one. But I and I haven't even finished the butterfly one either. I think I have like a little section to finish. I have way too many whips. And then now that we have the diamond painting company and I feel like I have to show people, I have even more whips. <laughs> 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 it's never ending <laughs> at all 65 by 87 okay that's not so too it's bad. not too bad no it's not too bad um because next month i'm doing a curtis reykjavich event okay okay or i'm doing it for july yeah and his artwork just screams volumes to me yeah is oh. his his is the one dreamer designs right yes okay and does the it's like the the dolls big eyed? Yeah, kind of. He's not quite as bad as Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> Those are big eyes. Be, he's a little bit more toned down. Yeah, hers are True. like okay. We're gonna have big eyes, you know, staring at you while you diamond paint. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like I can't just like cover the eyes. My best friend, Tanya, cannot do, like, she doesn't like eyes. Like, if there's the ones that are just an eye in the picture or whatever, she's like, no. <laughs> yeah, Jasmine Beck Griffiths are pretty bad. Yeah. We're trying it. To... That's one of those. She's public domain because she made, like, 735 images or whatever it was, public domain last right. year. And so we will have some of her artwork at some point, but we wanted to get our artist artwork going and stuff, too. And hand rendering takes a while to like perfect, right. especially because we're dealing with the Chinese designer and like trying to translate things and then, you know, time differences and stuff like that. So I just approved two more renderings this morning and we're doing them in round and square. So even though there's only 10 images on the site, it's actually 20 because right. they're in both round and square. And so that's what we're doing. So. We will get some of her artwork at some point, but I want to make sure that we get our artists going first. So, which I have so, seven more 
that are in production. So they should be on the way before too long. So right. they'll probably get here while we're gone. <laughs> they showed right. up last, the, the last batch showed up while we were on our cruise. And then we leave for the retreat at the end of the month. So I'm like, they're going to show up while we're gone. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> hi, Orion. Where are you going? So, uh, hi, come and say hi. <laughs> if you guys don't know, they also are the owners of Mary's Diamonds, which has been out on commission for a hot minute. Yeah. So, it took us a minute. We took it over and trying to work with that supplier was like pulling teeth and we just wanted it to be better so we were searching for suppliers and then getting the hand renderings going and everything so we definitely didn't plan on not opening for six months but right. yeah, it took like six months Hi, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> never fails we have two dogs two cats two guinea pigs one or all of them will come say hi right. at that point so they just do i know what are you doing but yeah, so we, yeah, Mary's Diamonds, and then we're still doing Bella Art stuff, and um, yeah, but I'm really enjoying it. Like, the glue doesn't stick out, Pat, you know, so you don't stick your arm in it, because the past supplier, it was like a little bit past the line and stuff, and so I was right. like, no, I don't want that. And then we flipped the legend. Um, so that when you flip your canvas around, it's upright, which I didn't know there was another company that was doing it. I hope all companies do it because it drives me nuts when I try to flip uh, the canvas around and then I'm like trying to read. <laughs> I, for me, it's Diamond Art Club because they like using the half triangle a lot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's like when you go to flip it, your brain has to flip yeah. with it. So. Yeah. I'm like, That's oh. another thing we're trying to do is we're trying not to have duplicate symbols or like an up and down arrow at the same on the same canvas because then once you flip it, it's the wrong way. Same thing with triangles. So I've been trying to catch that with the designer because we first approved the renderings, then we approved the canvas experience or the can. Oh, I just saw Diamond Anna said I had a bad experience. Have you made changes? Yes, lots of changes. Okay, so. First, we approve the renderings, then we approve the canvas print. And when we look at the canvas print, we try to make sure there's not the same symbols next to each other that could be confused or, you know, make them a white uh, symbol to make it a little bit easier to read on some of the dark backgrounds. Um, also looking, like I said, the up and down arrow to make sure there's not one of, you know, the same canvas if we can avoid it, because there are a million symbols. Um, and then so mary's diamonds so we changed suppliers um so we yeah we basically rebuilt the company <laughs> it was like basically the only thing that we got from the previous owner was the list of customers and the fact that we had the domain that's about all we got from him and he was supposed to help us but then he just kind of like was like here you go and left us so we you know figured it out for ourselves but we have hand rendering, so it's not all the confetti and everything like that. Uh, one through, so one through eight is one through eight instead of having the numbers apply to like number 42 is eight and your brain is like, wait, 42, eight? What am I looking at? So <laughs> number one through eight is eight. Um, and then we flip the legend. So when you turn the canvas around, I guess I could show you this one. So when you turn the canvas around, whoops. Leave it to me. I make a mess everywhere I go. So on this side is the flipped legend. So when you turn it around, you can still see the legend upright. I don't right. know where the camera is. So you can still see it upright. And then we, um, the round drills are acrylic. You don't necessarily need um, resin for the round drills. The squares are resin. Um, we also did it to where it's like the really soft canvas, which Mary's Diamonds before kind of had a soft canvas, but this one's even softer, lays out flat and everything like that. And we made sure like the artist, you can see who the artist is because before it was like a little bitty like thumbnail and you couldn't right. really tell and the artists are important. So we made sure that we, you know, made that bigger. And then the glue, like I said, doesn't go past, you know, it goes a little bit past the line because you need it to, but it doesn't go far past it where your arms stick. Right. And then, you know, the hand rendering helps with the not having, you know, you need confetti, but you don't need 
20 colors in every single section kind of right <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing the confetti and then um yeah and the drills are much better canvas so you know and then it's faster shipping so we have it it is drop shipping but we're probably one of the fastest drop shipping to where like people were getting their canvases within like nine days so it's you know we paid so that they process um like we produce some of the kits like a certain number we have to meet to you know do for production and then try to make it the cheapest we can on you guys and so we already have them to where then when they get the orders they then process them within a couple days and then it's uh air mail instead of being on the slow boat from china <laughs> So it's much faster shipping. So the shipping on average, I think right now is like seven to 16 days. So people in the UK were getting them within like eight or nine days. I think the US was like 11 because it's obviously further to go and stuff like that. And so far, there's only been one person that got charged customs and it was like $2. So, you know, the customs is a lot better than, than before. Um, we're still waiting to hear back from people to just make sure before we're like, no customs fees. And then the shipping is in the cost. So you don't have to like figure out the shipping after that. Right. So um, made a lot of different changes. <laughs> like, like Anna said, like completely revamped, <laughs> redid the whole company. Right. We just have the name. So, and we have boxes to use right now. So we're recycling those, but we will re right. rebrand in the future, kind of combine the two together. Right. So. Hopefully you have a better experience next time, Nana, because we made a lot of changes. So go and check out the website. I think the biggest complaint I heard from Mary Diamonds was popping drills. Yes. They would yeah. place their diamonds and the drills would literally pop. Yeah, pop, pop, no pop. popping drills. The, we made sure mm -hmm. that the uh, squares are tight because you don't want to like put your light pad over it and you could see the color, you know, you could see the light through it. Like they need right. to be on top of each other, but they're not popping. The grid mm -hmm. is enough to where you put it on there and it won't pop and stuff like that. So they're two different businesses, Nana. So we do giveaways from Bell Art and Cole and we give, do giveaways from Mary's Diamonds and we have it allocated like a certain amount from each business. So if you want a Bella Art Dana Cole gift card, it's for Bella Art Dana Cole. So for now, they are two completely different websites. We're running the books separately and things like that until we, you know, converge. But that's still going to take time. We want to make sure the website's right. We want to make sure, you know, everything's good to go with that. So it is still going to take some time. But yeah, right. so we revamped it. Yeah. <laughs> a lot better quality. So not popping drills. And I have, you know, a team to help me answer questions because that was the other thing with Mary Simons. You could never get a hold of him, which the owner lived in Romania. So that was a little bit of a time difference. But he was a lawyer and the business he started with his previous girlfriend who was named Mary. And so, you know, she wasn't around anymore. And so he just didn't have the time. So that's why he was selling it um, was he didn't have the time. And that was one of the main complaints that we saw was no one could get a hold of him. Right. <laughs> so, so we're available. I mean, we'd like for you to message us at Mary's Diamond stuff if you need Mary's Diamonds. But if you email me at Bellart and Nicole, I could still answer it there. So. <laughs> Yeah, Jeannie says no gaps. I know. I love it to where there's no gaps. They're right on top of each other. It just makes it cleaner and stuff like that. So, And I, the main diamond painting company I've ordered from has been Diamond Art Club. Yeah. Like, down. So I, I've been diamond painting for, oh my gosh, long before COVID. Yeah. So... I, I've seen Diamond Art Club progress to better. Because yeah. I'll do a old kit versus a new kit. I'm like, oh god, no. it's the world of difference. Boy, I'm like, yeah. I can't. Yeah, it's a world of difference, and that's why we didn't open up immediately. We wanted to make sure that we could open it up with quality from the beginning and just start it off on the right foot and not have to be like trying to catch up. So the only thing that we're trying to catch up on is being able to release the artwork but we're trying to do the original artwork justice so the supplier says you're my strictest customer and i'm like because i want like as close to the artwork as possible like i want as close to perfection as possible so we're always like fix this fix that you know kind of thing to get it to where if you look at the artwork and then you do this it's the same thing as close as you can 
because that yep. was uh what was it yellow fairy tale whitney did that one do you see that one no oh it's with the yellow dress and she's like i normally don't like yellow but i didn't get tired of it so <laughs> she right. did that one and she it's a it's a black woman and she said mary's diamonds you actually got the skin tone right it's not all red and that's what they first sent us was red and we were like no <laughs> right no which it's hard to find skin tones with diamond drills so like with the dmc coats and everything it's just kind of hard to get some of those skin tones right but we were like no this section do this brown this section do that brown and we kind of brought it together so you know we worked really hard on just really focusing on the renderings trying to get as close to the original you know i've been diamond painting for three and a half years now and so, you know, we just, we wanted to make sure that it was good before we released it. And so right. hopefully, you know, we're good and we can get better, you know, but hopefully we're really good, which I've heard people are like, you're up there already. <laughs> you only have 10 kits. So, right. I'm, you know, happy that they already feel that way, that we're up with the big dogs and we've only released 10 kits so far. So that makes me feel good. And I have noticed on, cause I've, I've cruised the Mary site. Yeah. Many times. <laughs> so I think the one that sticks out for me, I think it's called Snow Princess. Oh, Sea Princess. Sea Princess. I'm yeah. big at mermaids. Yeah. So I'm oh, it's it's gorgeous. Like I keep going back to that kit over yeah. and over and over. Yeah. And over it's again. gorgeous. Deborah, <laughs> I think she's been sharing her pro her progress and she did rounds. And the rounds even look like amazing, like you're in the water and stuff with her. So she's been, Sea Princess was our number one. Uh, Wonderment by Emma Casey, which is the dragon with butterflies, was number two. Um, and then I think Cozy Mug with, she's holding the mug, the I coffee cup, that. I think that's number three. So, and that was the other thing that was important was getting the renderings on the website because there's nothing like trying to order a kit and then you get it. And it's like, this does not look like the artwork at all. Right. <laughs> so we're like, we want the renderings. And then, you know, for three years, people are like, you know, they see a kit. I've seen a kit and I'm like, I wish it was in rounds or I wish it was in squares. So we <coughs> out of it for you. So we have rounds and squares for everything. So um, thank you, Jennifer. She said, I think you made a good choice by releasing fewer kits, but making sure the quality is excellent. Yeah. So we have 10. And then we have seven more um, that in a couple weeks, we should be able to list them on the website. So, and then they have 13 more artworks that they're working on and they kind of do it in batches. They won't do production until they have like a batch of them to do. Um, probably ordering drills and things like that. It probably saves them, you know, somewhere. So, um, so we've been doing them in batches. So they have 13 more. They were able to get seven done of the second 10 that I sent. And we were like, all right, the other three are taking extra time. Let's get these seven going. And then we have, and then we sent them 10 more. So they have 13 that they're currently like working on at some point. So yeah, that's just the hardest. And then I look at other companies now and like, I'm like, God, that rendering's awful. <laughs> I'm not saying anything bad about companies. I'm not saying a name or anything, right. but I'm just like, you know, oh, you, you I've, sit I've had so my closely. Easy. Yeah, working on this, like I've been working on it day in and day out for six months. And so I'll be like, God, her hand looks awful or God, her face, like what's up with that eye or something like that. So so that's when we're looking at them, we're like, how's the feet? How's the hands? How do the eyes look like? They don't look like they're cross-eyed. So it just, right. it takes us extra time only because I'm trying to be a little bit of a perfectionist, I guess, a little bit OCD and just make sure that it's the best that we can and not have to be like, oh, this is the first run, but here, here's the second run by this version, you know, kind of thing. Right. We didn't want to do that. So yeah, it's been, it's been an experience. I'm just like, Ugh. so I can finally diamond paint again because I was not really diamond painting for six months. So right. finally able to diamond paint again. So that's been fun. And, you know, now I'm like, guys, I have to diamond paint because I have to show people our kits. Like, I've got to get these done. Right. So, and Jamie's not here. So, you know, I don't really sleep much. Uh, he's He's got, 
we're hoping four more months at his base and then hopefully he can get into it's like an internship type thing where he still gets paid through the military but he can work for another company that he can work for like when he retires Okay. And so he has to apply for that. So we're hoping that that gets approved. So then he'll be home in four months instead of a year. And then he can do that, you know, for six months and then he'll retire next April. So that's what we're hoping. Cross fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here doing, you know, diamond painting till like 5 a.m. And then I'll get a few hours of sleep and then get up and do stuff. So <laughs> it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Like I, I finally got my joy back for diamond painting and there's something about you know, you produced it, you created it, you know, you perfected it kind of thing that just makes it more enjoyable, I guess. So. And I think that's why I love the craft so much is because yeah. I see progress almost immediately where if you're crocheting or knitting, you're not going to mm. progress until you're about halfway done with it. <laughs> and I'm like, right. You're like, is no. this a scarf or a hat or what is this? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't I haven't gotten into any other hobbies. I painted rocks before I found diamond painting. And that was how I found diamond painting was I was going to have foot surgery. And I was like, well, I can't sit there with my paints and everything. And so it's just like, you know, OK, I need to find something else. And it was right. It was right before COVID. And, you know, so the, the ads were popping up left and right on Facebook and Amazon and stuff like that. So I'm like, sure, I'll give it a try. <laughs> and I did, it was the Beauty and the Beast because that's my favorite Disney movie. And it was the Rose, but it was only partial. It was only the Rose was the only portion. Everything else was just a <laughs> And I'm surprised I stuck with it because I was like, what is this? Like, but I finished it really fast. And I was like, oh, that was fun. I finished this. Like, this is cool. And then I did, I think it was like a 30 by 30. And it was another, dis, you know, Beauty and the Beast one. And then I got Stitch. And we're doing the Disney. We won't do Disney. Not unless down in the future we get, you know, Disney rights. We won't do anything that, you know, encroaches on Disney. Right. Because we don't need them to come in and shut us down. Right. <laughs> Like, no, thank you. They have a team of lawyers and they get paid based on shutting businesses down. Like, yeah, it's just nuts. And so I'm like, I don't want to be one of those people. Like we work so hard and we have one Disney image and they come in they're like, nope, you're shut down. Like that would just suck. So and I think that's one of the reasons why Diamond Art Club stopped producing yeah. Disney kits. Yeah. Was because it was just, they're like, no, yeah, they're like, no, no chances at all. Yeah. So, you know, Jamie's like, oh, we need to get Star Wars. And I'm like, that's, you know, we know it's Disney now. It's like, that's going to be a little bit, a little bit impossible to get. So, right. we'll see. But, and then someone mentioned Care Bears. So I think he's like, oh, we should get Care Bears. <laughs> oh, girl, if you get Care, Bo Care Bears, it's game yeah, over for me. Yeah, so he's, that's my childhood. So, yeah, you know, it's it like. Is. Oh. Yeah, so he like is like we're gonna get Care Bears. We do have a couple artists. There's one in the community. We have a meeting with her tomorrow just to finalize some things. So there's someone in the community that's big out there that's gonna be signing on with us. And then we have two of our artists um, from before should be returning. They've just been busy, not got back to us, stuff like that. And then there's two more that we're signing coming up soon. So we'll have some new artists, to, but Jamie's really excited about one of them. So we're, we're pretty excited. Yeah. And that's, just, it's just fun. It's like, you know, but I suck at secrets. So it's really hard for me to not tell you. So <laughs> I, especially diamond, new fresh diamond painting companies, they seem to try to not all have the exact same artists on the exact same sites. Cause it, it does just, you're not making sales that way. Yeah. It's just kind of, uh, okay, I'll go get it from that site instead because it's yeah. cheaper on that site, blah, blah, blah. And it's, yeah. Yeah. We're and trying to get some new ones. We've got the ones we're bringing back and then we've got new ones uh, and stuff. So, but, you know, we, we didn't even start reaching out to them until we had the product. So we only reached out, you know, starting two weeks ago because we wanted to make sure they could see the website, see the rendering, see you know, the artwork being worked on and stuff like that so that we could go to them and say, hey, this is, you know, 
we rebrand, you know, we redid everything, you know, you may or may not have heard about us before, but we've made big changes and, you know, and that's one of the hardest things is just getting the word spread that we're the new owners and it's changed and it's better. So right. hopefully, hopefully the, word, the word's getting out though. <laughs> it just takes some time, but yeah. Right. So. Angie, you've been working so hard. Yeah. Like <laughs> day in and day out for like six months working to, you know, perfect everything. And right. we're, we're definitely in the hole right now between the website and, you know, paying a website person and then paying the renderings and then paying for the, you know, canvases and stuff like that. So we're definitely, we gotta get out of that hole, <laughs> <laughs> but we're still going. It's fine. Right. It'll, it'll figure itself out. <laughs> so see princess, any other ones catch your eye? Uh, I'm big into anime. Okay. I'm wicked big into anime. Yeah. Anime. There um, should be, there's definitely one that's coming out soon. I think we talked about moon. Uh, what the heck? Why am I? It's called moon princess. Um, what the heck is the anime? She has a little moon on her forehead. Who is okay. That? Yes. I have diamond art clubs version. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. So it's Moon Princess. Um, a lot of the artists that were originally with Mary's Diamonds do have like the anime feel to them. So right. Sailor Moon, that's what it is. So there's like a Sailor Moon version. So uh -huh. that is going to be one of the seven. We talked about it in one of our lives. So I'm not like spilling the beans. <laughs> so uh, right. one of the oh seven, God. the other six are a secret, but one of the seven is going to be Sailor Moon. So, or like a Sailor Moon like one. And um, right. so, and that one, I actually showed it to uh, so Sophie. She's doing the Sailor Moon event in a couple months, I think maybe August. And um, I showed her <laughs> the rendering in the original. And she's like, I actually like your rendering better than the original. I'm like, ooh, that's cool. <laughs> so that was a hard one. Like, her face, like trying to get the colors right. We were going back and forth with the designers on those. So yeah, so it's a Sailor Moon like one is one of, and then we do have a mermaid in the next set too. Uh, so we have another mermaid and this mermaid's fun too. So uh, yeah, so a little bit of extra that I haven't said yet. So you, you get a little bit extra here on Derek. Yeah, with so, uh, <laughs> you you uh, heard it here on Derek with Diamonds that we're coming out with it. It couldn't have picked a better mermaid. line to say it on either. <laughs> <laughs> there is another mermaid. Yeah, Sea Princess. Oh, they just did it so well with like the light coming through and then the, oh, there's Shay. What? Did someone say mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> I knew she heard it. She's yep. like, what? Mermaid? Yeah, so there's another yeah. mermaid coming out. So there will be two mermaids. And don't ask me about the rest of them. Honestly, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only two that stuck in my head. So I think yeah. the other franchise I would love to see Diamond Painting take on is the Pokemon franchise. Yeah. Because there's so much they can do with it. Yeah, and that's a lot of a bunch of the artists that we had had like Pokemon like stuff, you know, uh pop art or whatever you call it in there. So, you know, we could definitely do some of the artwork if we could. Yeah, it's just it's a it's a, just a matter of reaching out, but you know, I don't, I'm sure we'll have to reach out, you know, every day for like six months, to right. <laughs> you know, they get so many messages and, you know, we message the artists, but we know, you know, that they're busy and they may not see it and stuff like that. So, you know, we have to give them time and then we'll reach out through email or things like that. So, right. but yeah. <laughs> Shay, you're funny. She's like, did someone see Mermaid? <laughs> were you working and lurking and then you were like, wait a minute. Yeah, she probably was. Yeah. We yeah. Jay working and lurking. are co-hosting an event in August. Okay. What's it going to be? Uh, it's Oz for Oz. Oh, Oz and Og. Yeah. Yes. Are you going to, um, you're going to help her with that? Yes. Nice. I'm doing uh, Wicked Witch from Inscarero. Okay. Okay. It's based. Remember. You can see Emerald City in the background. So it's okay. Like, uh, yeah, I do remember. Yeah, I participated in twice because it's this will be the third year, right? 
because I did the first year with the original creator and then Shay took it on. Or is this the fourth year, Shay? I think it's the third, though. Um, but yeah, I know, I think one of my Hannah Lynn's, although it's around. So. <laughs> yeah, rounds are becoming a headache. Yeah, so all of the handlelands have been rounds. So, um, but one of the rounds because they did like three or four different ones that are Wizard of Oz like. So I'll be doing okay. one of those, um, and then yeah, it's it's hard to not like participate in a million events at the same time. I had to stop doing that because I had like fifteen whips probably going from like. <laughs> do this event i want to do that event yeah. like, we need to just stop this yeah. like i think right. it was 11. i want to say the number was 11 and i was like this is way too many so i don't yeah. i don't do that anymore so third okay i thought it was i was like it's got to be like the third or the fourth one so yeah so right. ozanog yeah we love ozanog we've we've sponsored the first two years so love that event um and then Kara and I are doing uh, Beat the Heat 2023 in August. And basically, it's just any canvas that you think is cool. So Wizard of Oz, any of those are cool. So right. basically, we left it very open-ended. Don't right. ask us questions if this counts because I don't want right. to answer. If you think it's cool, it's cool. We're good. Do that, kids. <laughs> That's the hardest thing with hosting. So we're like, does oh, this fit? It, and I'm uh, like, no. It does not. I get it. You want to participate, but no. So I try to make my events as culture to my my paintings yeah. as as to other people. So yeah. I gear towards a lot of dark art because mm -hmm. I seem to gravitate. That's where I seem to gravitate to is yeah. all dark artists. Yeah, it's one thing uh, we don't have yet. We're working on is to get some sort of dark artist because that's that's a popular one. So. We'll yeah. get there. We'll get there eventually. We got landscapes that the previous owner didn't have any landscapes. So we got our friend was our first that we signed and he thinks it's really cool. I finally got him to get an Instagram. I'm like, you have to get on social. Like people have to be able to find you if they want to like commission something. And so he finally got on Instagram and he was like, over the moon with it being like 20 followers i think he now is like 57 he's like man this is cool i'm like yeah like we support our artists like people will go follow you so right. yeah Jeannie says she's a fan too i know dark dark arts something we'll get there but yeah so it's been it's been busy i've been running around like to give him a head go <laughs> <laughs> Just like I can't and then you're like do you want a sponsor and I'm like yes a gift card because I need to make it easy <laughs> I can't like I can't like so many event trays and so many different things and I'm like I need easy I need something easy so we're we're doing uh the fantasy summer DP long right now and I'm like can I just give gift cards I don't want to give anything <laughs> It kind of makes it easy on my end. Yeah. Just because then. Well, okay. you don't have to ship anything. No. It's and open to everyone, everyone oh. you know, kind of thing. So we try oh. and let's <laughs> get towards the end of the event. And I'm like, okay, we overprinted these. Can we get these given away? <laughs> like I still have two packages from last year to still ship because they're international. Uh, oh, and yeah, international they, shipping is yep, not, not great. Cheap. No. Yep. yep. Not what? Uh, one lady, she wanted a diamond painting pen. It's cost me twenty twenty dollars just just to ship a pen. Yeah, and, sounds about right. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I know. But, That's why we do. We have an international club where we'll combine your orders for the month, so you still pay for the shipping, you still pay for everything like right. normal. But then at the end of the month, we'll combine all your orders together and ship them out. And normally, we're able to refund like at least half of what they paid you know, shipping wise, and then, you know, save them money that way. So it helps them. It helps us because, you know, then people are purchasing, but you know, um, yeah, shipping is just outrageous and there's nothing you can do about it. People no. think like there's something you can do. Are you sure it's $20? I'm like, yeah, it's $20. Like, yeah, it's, 
I'm not lying about this. It's twenty dollars. Like it's not cheap to send a piece of paper. It's like seventeen dollars. Like that's the minimum to send overseas. Like it's not yeah. cheap. So I'm like, and then we worked with Crashly because they have the release papers, and they asked us to make something. So we made the release paper dispenser that went with it. And then we said, if you're overseas or something and you want to order from them, have them ship it to us and then we'll ship it to you. So we've been doing that collaboration. So it saves like the overseas shipping too. So yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, even sending in the US, it's like at least $8, if not like $15, $20 to send a kit. And it's just, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, one of my subscribers had won something and I had to send it to California and I mind you, I'm in New Hampshire. I you're literally going yeah, you're to literally across the of course. United yeah. States. <laughs> and that was that was close to almost fifteen dollars. Yep. Just to ship yeah. that. And I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, no. Yeah, just to go across country. I know. We just did I just did all my like de stashing and I had like fifty some odd kits that I was sending and it was just like you know, I just charge the flat fee because I'm like, I'm not checking your zip code to find out how much it is and right. then do that. I'm like flat fee because I just, it, that's too much. And it was even, it was still a lot to purchase the label and you got to package them up and then you got to put them on it. And, you know, that costs money because you got to find a box or you got to find the paper or find, right. you know, the label or whatever. So yeah, I, at the end of the day, people are like, with small businesses, they're like, are you sure it's not? And I'm like, no, that's the price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to get money on it. It is that expensive. <laughs> so yeah. So when I was de-stashing, I'm like 15 bucks. Like if you're buying a kit and then $10 for each additional or whatever, because right. it takes time, you know, to do all that too. You have to figure out, you know, all the shipping and add it on and take it to the place and stuff like that. So hi right. Carol, good to see you. She's aren't you overseas, Carol? I think she's she is. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought she was overseas. So yeah, we we're just talking about shipping. It ain't cheap, Carol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah. Uh, but uh oh, talk about your new tool. I I think they're what? I, they're like yay big. You what hold your trays in it. Hold the trays. It's, it's that weird caddy. I think you sell that. Oh, the. the where it'll fit drills, but it also fits trays and stuff in it too. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I have uh, around here somewhere. My craft room's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess. It's always a mess. Where I swear they're like right in front of me. Hi, guinea pigs. I don't know if you can hear them. There. <coughs> um. Okay, hold on. I think it, oh, I'm using it for Prairie Sunrise. That's where it is. Bye, Sherilyn. Hi, Buttercup. You gonna come help? So, it's really used for baggies, this thing, right? I think so. Yeah. So this is one of the newer products that we came out with. Um, it's a smaller version of what we have before because the other one we have before had like two rows on it. So this is like a smaller version. So it fits the, um, it fits these things, bags. Uh, it fits like the mud from like Mary Mud or if you get them like Randy's Crafty Corner or things like that. Um, but it also, someone figured out it fits trays. Awesome. So you can, like, you can put your trays in there. Like I said, everything we make, we try to make it versatile. <laughs> there's, always, All right. there's always many uses for this. Um, and then you can actually use it to hold cover minders. You put the cover minder on the outside and then the magnet on the inside and it'll actually stay. Of course, I don't have any magnets on me to like show you. Well, there's a magnet. Does that have a magnet in it? No. Just have a magnet. Oh, opposite magnets. Wonderful. Striking out here. Oh, there we go. So if you do like that, and then you put the other magnet on the inside, it actually holds your cover minders. So you can like wrap the cover minders around it and like store the cover minders there too. So nice. many uses for it. But yeah, this is one of the newest things. 
except for the newest thing would probably be the bookshelf with the book trays. Um, and I just did a video on it and posted it. And my employee was helping me and it has where it fills in all the books on it and stuff like right. that. So it's super cute. But yeah, so that's like the newest thing is the bookshelf with the books and stuff in it. And they are usable. They're not just for show. There are little trees in them. Where's one? Oh, here's one. So here. So here's, oh, of course you can't see it on this color. But we have our little logo here. And then it has little notches so you know which way is up and you just kind of shimmy it out and then here's the uh, trick and so you can okay. just pour it out of the corner and then you just put it back in and it snaps in really well so they're really good for um traveling with so they don't really come apart very easily you kind of have to like wiggle them out and stuff like that and they kind of like snap in really good so these are good for traveling and then you could just put you know special drills or if you don't have like if you're not living the 310 life, you can use these. Right. <laughs> if you're living the 310 life, you need a max tray. <laughs> oh. Is, oh, here's the group trays. So here's the color we did this week. So here's the single. And then here's where you can place up to five, like five drills will fall in here. And then over here is like the more than eight drills kind of thing. So that's the, that's the little grid tray. And then is this, oh, there's still drills in here. Perfect. I can show you then. This is the max. This is the honker. So this is the max tray. And so there's where it has, there's not enough drills in here, but you can place, single place a whole lot. And that has other ones in there. So this is, this is the big tray. <laughs> My question for your grid trays though, are the drills yeah. harder to take out of the tray when you dump them back into whatever container. Yeah, all you have to do is you can just do this. Okay. And then you could just pour them out. Okay. So, no. I know that that was when we first created them, people were like, how do you get them out? And it's just, you just turn the tray over and then dump them out. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> because see, like they almost all, all fell to the bottom when I did that. Okay. So you could just, And that's another reason why we kept it where it was a longer spot here so that the drills could come out of it and then, you know, funnel down there. Okay. So that's kind of why we made it that way too. So yeah, no, all you have to do is just kind of turn it over. Hey, Sophie, I was talking about you <laughs> earlier. I was talking about Sailor Moon in a couple weeks should be out. So there you go. See, it's like completely all the drills are down there. Nice. So, yeah, it's not hard to. Yes, I have four max trays. Yeah. Oh, and that good. built for that type of tray. It's just huh? not. My hands, because my hands hurt a lot. Oh. Of, I have trigger finger. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Lock up right, wicked bad. Oh, yeah. So trying to shake the max tray is like. So we have a caddy now where it has magnets on the bottom of it, and then you sit the tray in it, and then you just, you have the lid open, you sit the tray in it, and then it's there. And you can work on a flat surface or an incline. You don't have to hold it. Like, it doesn't move around. Oh, so it. So it's kind of like a cover minder. It's like a cover minder. So it so that it holds onto your canvas. So you can have an incline. I use it on a flat surface. Most of what I do is on a flat surface, but then I don't have to hold it and I don't have to like move it around or anything. So and we have different sizes of the caddies. They're called caddies. So they have it where they're so the tray will sit on it and then it actually has another little section if you have like your wax there or if you have your little container, the Elizabeth Ward fits on there and stuff like that. So you can work out of that and then you just take the tray off and then you can put another tray on it. So nice. we have the max version that also works for the two largest because two larges fit on top of the max tray. And then we have the three divider one that will also fit three smalls or a large and a small on it. And then we have the smallest one, which is for the large tray or two smalls. But yeah, we made those. They're super strong. They're, they have four neodymium magnets built on the inside. And then there's four that you can then put underneath it. Okay. So they're super strong. Yeah. Jeannie uses hers on like a 60 degree angle and hers works. So. Yeah, you don't have to hold the tray, which is awesome. You don't have to hold it. And because that's the main reason I because I have a tilted craft table. That's the main reason I don't tilt my craft table. Yeah. Because I'm not one of I, I'm clumsy anyway. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be sitting there holding my tray, shaking my tray. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, no, you can use it. It's uh, uh, Jamie created it. He came, uh, Tanya, my best friend had the idea, said, hey, something like this. And then he came up with it. And I don't hold my tray anymore. I just trade out which caddy I'm using based on which tray I'm using. And I don't have to hold it anymore or anything. Okay. And a lot of people you can work on incline with it and stuff like it too. So nice. yeah, Jeannie has arthritis. Yeah, she's got arthritis really bad. So, so yeah, check that out. Cause that Derek, you're almost 500. Ooh, <gasps> what? I think you're only 10 away. I want yes, to say before the live, it was like 10. How many you got? Uh, I think you're close so don't forget yeah. to don't forget to subscribe if you're here but yeah, yeah sophie i was talking about the uh about she said i can't wait the rendering is chef's kiss i know she was like i like the rendering better like, <laughs> Yay. so yeah that one's in the next seven that'll be coming out soon oh 11 only 11 away all right well if you're in here don't forget to subscribe to derek and you're almost there Mine says 10, it says 490 subscribers. I think you're only 10 away. <laughs> Jeannie yeah. says I can't double subscribe. I know. <laughs> but you can go to your other Google account and subscribe from there. And then your other Google account subscribe. From there. <laughs> and then you get all of the, you know, by that point. I just, I have so many between Mary's Diamonds now, because we have all those. And then I have Bella Art, all of those. And the two Instagrams, the two TikToks, the two Facebook pages, the two Facebook groups. I'm like, I can't keep up. Oh. But I have so many Gmails now. I could probably go in and get you to 500 with all my Gmails. <laughs> That's just ridiculous how many I have. So Sophie said, yes, I'm going to grab that one ASAP. I know it's coming out in a couple weeks. So, yeah, um, Jennifer says, wow, I know you're, you're close. You only got like 10. Oh, there goes Wicket. Oh, you got one more. So you only got nine to go. Yeah. Getting there. So don't forget to subscribe. There's Wicket. I told you they'll all say hi at some point. He must have just woke up. He sleeps a lot more now with Jamie gone. He's sad that he's gone. So he right. sleeps a lot more. So he's always sleeping and then he'll wake up because he hears the wind rustling or whatever. <laughs> what happens if you hit 500? Is there a giveaway when you hit 500? Yes. Yes. Sweet. I just did. I did a 400 subscriber giveaway. Nice. Nice. You get in there then. So. Oh, Anna says I logged into my other account and subscribed. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just go to all your other Gmail accounts and start mm -hmm. subscribing. So, uh, yeah, we're at, oh, I don't even know what we're at. I think we're at 3,000. Yeah, 3,200 and some odd subscribers. So, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not as good as all you other YouTubers with the things. I'm getting a little more because we've got, you know, Mary's Diamonds. I've been doing more videos now, unboxings and things like that. But I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a good YouTuber. <laughs> just not. I, well, I don't do technology well. Yeah, yeah. There's too many, mm -mm, no. Yeah, Jamie like, does that. He helps technology. <laughs> so, no, no mm -mm. Yeah. Jamie says, am I the only person that has one? Yes. You're probably the only person on this planet who has one Gmail account. <laughs> oh, you got 492. You're only yeah. one away. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm not the greatest with technology either. Jamie always has to help with it. And if it if something were to not work when we got on here, I'd be like, sorry, I can't join. I don't know what to do. Like, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. So I'm right. like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just, because when I first started my YouTube channel, I was like, um, you know what? I'm just going to do a video. Yeah. Start out that way. Yep. I almost stopped all, all together because <laughs> I, I had two subscribers and it was people I already knew. So oh, it's, that's funny. Oh, I'm like, okay, that, that ain't working. Yeah. yeah. So. I stayed off YouTube for about, I would say two weeks and I go back on and I had 20 subscribers. I'm like, oh, you're like, okay. wait, what? Oh, okay. What happened? <laughs> what did Sophie said? It's been a good month. LOL, eight days in. Oh, we're like eight days into June. June is a good month. It is a good month. I got married in June. Yeah. Nice. 
nice. Yeah, I'm what, wedding what anniversary is the 12th of June. Okay, 12 is a good number. We got married, uh, we had, we were, so we met in October of 2021, and then we were married 10 21 2012. And we were, and when we got engaged, it was 121 2012. So we have like all the same numbers. So one, two, and zero are like all the same numbers. So. <laughs> what did I miss, Jeannie? Should I heard on your live? Congrats on a promotion. Oh, did you get your promotion? Oh, you did. Did I know this? I may have <laughs> that and forgotten. Sorry, I'm a bad friend. I forget things. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other thing when Jamie's not here I can't remember anything and when we're on the live I like can't think of a word and he'll say it I'm like oh yeah like fibro brain is real I like always have fibro brain so I'm just like wicked come here quit bargain so yeah um mm. so I may have known that she was getting that but and forgot Oh, you just caught it last night. Okay. Maybe that's when she announced it. I haven't, I've been running around everywhere today. I had my uh, ENT appointment. Yay. She got promoted. Hello. You didn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. June is a good wedding month too. Cause it's warm, but it's not too hot. Maybe uh -huh. it's a little muggy there. Right. Um, us, no, we no. get our, our June weather is almost, mm, it's spring ish weather. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's like not crazy hot. Wicked. <laughs> so what was the temperature your wedding day? Oh, 80s, I think. 80s? Nice. Was, yeah, that's kind of what we were, it rained the day before, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> so it rained the day before, but then it was really nice weather the day of, so, but yeah. Congratulations, Sophie, that's awesome. Yeah, Jamie does not want to make the next rank. He wants out. <laughs> if you make the next <laughs> rank, you have to sign on again. He's like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> I'm doing my 20 years and I'm done. So he's like, definitely don't want that. Let me see if I can. But yeah, so congratulations on almost getting there. You're almost there. Let me see if I can log in with another account. But yeah, um, so what are your plans for 500? Um, I'm probably going to be doing a, another diamond painting. I usually okay. do diamond painting. Nice. <laughs> and I was so impressed with Diamond Art Club this time because I usually do gift cards for my events. Nice. Yeah. So I am doing ghouls for Guillermo in September. Yes. So uh, I had messaged them because Artemisa was out almost out of stock. So I had messaged them and said, is there any way you can donate Artemisa to my event? Yeah. So I, it was about, I would say about a week. They wanted info about my event. So I sent them all the info I had. Yeah. Then it was literally the next day. My, I have shop pay. Shop pay is my, that that's my safe haven. Oh yeah, I, I love to get. Yeah. So, my shop pay dings off, and it, you're like, I didn't it order anything. My item was shipped. I'm like, I didn't <laughs> order anything. What, what do you did doing? I order? Was oh no, that ambient. <laughs> <laughs> what did I order? I've done that. I've done yeah. that. I've ordered something. I'm like, did I order that? I yeah. can't remember if I ordered that or not. Yeah. So uh, when it got here, I about lost everything right That's there. Awesome. Um, and then Fenya came out because they put Fenya back in stock. And that okay. just screams Artemisa to me. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, I'm going to ask. Yep. They, they didn't hesitate with that either. Awesome. So they sent me two Inscarero kits for the month of September and October. Just don't open it to international. You're going to pay like. Oh, well, I know. <laughs> don't <laughs> do it. Pretty don't much do be it. Buying the kit again. Use the gift cards. Use the Bell Arte and Nicole gift card for international. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't do it. Nice. Very cool. And Love your that. three divider trays have just grown on me drastically oh my Those god my favorite 
They're very versatile because you can just, you can have one, you can have it. Jamie uses it as a single tray. He never uses the dividers. I'll use the two dividers and then have three in there. And yeah, I love the three divider trays and you can stack them really easily and stuff too. So right. yeah, they're my favorite. I love those. Cause uh, my pride yeah. painting I finished, I was like, okay, I'm going to use the three divider trays for the last sections I have left Yeah, and time it to see how long it takes me to finish it. And fast. you don't notice how much time you're spending Emptying out, pouring in, <laughs> emptying out, pouring in. Yeah. And it's yeah. like. That's why I like to kit up. The one behind me is kitted up. I've got a 24 small tower, I think, a 16 large. And I've got a couple max trays in it. Like just working out. It takes a while to like empty the bags in and stuff like that at first. But then working out of like trays is amazing. And then, you know, you miss that one drill and all you have to do is just open it, grab the drill and go. Instead of like trying to mess with bags and stuff like that. So I definitely enjoy that a lot more. But yeah, three dividers are one of my favorites. And you had those for the the rainbow ones that we sent, right? Yes. Um, they're right here. The event is over. I actually bought four. Yeah. I the, remember the one, we tried to get yeah. the different colors. Yeah. Yeah. I bought four. Yep. Yeah. We're like, got to send different colors. Uh, that's. That's a pretty one. That's a favorite. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was one of the unicorns came out like that, but then apparently it shifted. So I to look. That's the thing with the, um, no, I think it, yeah, I think it's one of these guys and they shifted. So I have to like reprint them. Yeah. So like they shifted a little bit and so I have to reprint them, but it's that like, pink to purple to green kind of color that's definitely like a, a popular one so but yeah i guess i'll have a whole team of them because they print six at one time so we can get some color changes in there and so these guys shifted so i'll just have a team of them it's fine <laughs> <laughs> i always use i use scratch and knit stuff i know we own the company i know we could probably reprint it again but i use so much scratch and dent stuff that's like it's really like hardly anything's wrong with it but i'm like no we're not sending that and i'll just use it so <laughs> yeah my order just came today from bella art dana cole did it now oh uh, <laughs> these give me life oh uh, the yeah. i they remind me of orange juice yeah they, they get, the get off that orange sherbet yep yep yeah orange well, sherbet. all of my three divider trays are dark colors so yeah. my rule of thumb is my light colors go in my dark trays mm -hmm. my dark colors go in my light trays yep yep so oh exactly i know i always have like Although there, it seems like a lot of kits, I do have a lot of darker drills. So I end up with like a lot of lighter trays. But yeah, that's like a rule of thumb. That's like really easy when people are like, well, what color should I get? I'm like, well, if you want to work out of light, you know, dark colors, then you use a light tray. If you want to use light colors, you use a dark tray. So make sure you have some sort of assortment with that and stuff like that. So yeah, Jeannie's got an awesome collection. She's one of those and she's got probably more trays than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I did not work out of trays for about the first two years that we own this business. I did not work out. A, I didn't diamond paint like as much as some people do. And <coughs> it was just like, I was just like trying to fill orders and not keep anything for myself. And then when I start working out trays, I'm like, oh, why did I not do this sooner? Right. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? So now I get up mostly into trays. Um, Sunrise Prairie, I do have it in the containers because they, and that's the other thing that we changed um, is baggies and making sure that it was the stronger baggies because it drives me nuts when you like try to open the baggies and they rip. Like there's, there's companies that send them and those bags are just like nothing. So these are like the thicker baggies. So they're really good. Um, but yeah, so it's really easy to work out of. Oh, have you heard of how to help with static? The I've heard a couple few things. I've rubbing heard alcohol and a Q-tip. I recently, Jeannie told me about this and I've been using it and it works wonderfully. So rubbing alcohol and just a tiny bit on the Q-tip, don't over dip it because if you do, 
Like they'll just kind of like stick together for a minute until it evaporates kind of thing. But okay. yeah, use a Q-tip, rubbing alcohol, a little tiny bit in there. And I've gotten rid of static in no time. Static is what kills me. With yeah, static drives me nuts. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> um, I did uh, Season's Greetings by Craftably. Uh-huh. That had so much static. I yeah. just, I could not. I know. There's been, <sighs> well, there was like a time when DAC was working on their stuff and it was like a solid three months of static drills and it drove me near to the edge. <laughs> Like, I can't with static. So yeah, no, the Q-tip and the the stuff works. Rubbing alcohol, yeah. G she said, genius. Thanks, Jeannie. I have alcohol in my craft station. Yeah, like most people have rubbing alcohol. So it's just you know right. the rubbing alcohol and then a little bit of Q-tip. Just swirl it in and then you're good to go. So I've been using that because it's a lot of it has to do with temperature and things like that and the drills rubbing together so you can get it from the best company and still have static like that just yeah. happens and so when you're trying to get a i use dryer sheets lee but they like leave residue and it was always like super annoying when i was using dryer sheets so i found that that rubbing alcohol like has worked like a dream so try that hi brenda good to see you she said i'll have to try that so yeah, try that. It worked tremendously. Kaden, I missed you too. How are you? Did you graduate? Kaden graduated. He should have graduated school. So don't forget to subscribe to Derek, y'all. He's only eight people away. So we got 492. So you're only eight people away. You're getting there. You were on Shay's live a couple weeks ago, right? Yes. That's right. That was a blast. Yeah, I know. She's always fun to to be on. We've been on a couple times. And then the last time we were on, Jamie like hadn't really slept. And so he looked like a deer in the headlights the whole time. And he was like focused on something. And she's like, was Jamie mad? Like, <laughs> I'm like, he doesn't get mad. I'm like, he was just tired. So we had her on our channel. I'm like, come on our channel. Jamie will be better. I promise. So I was like, Jamie, you better be awake. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Shay, the last Last time she was on, we hit, I forget what we were celebrating and we were giving away like 20 trays or something like that. Um, it was something really big that we were doing and that, and Shay was like helping us out. We were like, never again. But yeah, so I think that was the last time Shay was on our channel. She's helping us. <laughs> we like, never again. Yeah, he did. Yay. You're working now. Nice. Where are you working? Um, but, uh, hi Allison. Good to see you. I think what I like about your trays the most is I don't have to do maintenance on them when I get them. Yeah. Oh, but, we, yeah. We make sure to clean off filament and stuff like that. Like, oh, some of the tray companies I've ordered from, it's like the drills don't want to give up the tray at all. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so half of the trays end up on either my canvas or on my lovely carpet floor. So it's yeah. like. I'm like, we, in the beginning, we had it where, because if you have the lines going one direction, right. it'll leave a little bubble at the end, which it does. It leaves a little bubble, but we have it going the opposite direction. So it leaves it like on the end here. Right. But if they're on the end here, then your drills like can't come out. Like they get stuck there. So, you know, we've been <laughs> in business three and a half years now. Almost. Three, yeah, like three and a half years now. So we've we've definitely learned throughout the process, and Jamie's gotten really good at it. But yeah, like you know, and the line spacing. Some people say the lines are too far apart because they're used to closer. But I'm like, they work for rounds and squares, and they don't get stuck. And I'll, I think a lot of people don't realize just tilt the tray. If you tilt the tray, then they line up. So yep, you know, it's that, a little bit different. That's how I diamond paint anyway. Is that an angle? It's, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I learned that from Diamonds and Washi. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how was she that nickel? Um, And I've learned that with rounds, you have to do the rocking motion. And with squares, you do not. Because I don't do the rocking motion at all with the squares. And I have no problem. The rocking motion? Going, like, okay. you, you, like when you're placing your drills, you're kind of doing this type oh, of deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, round, you have to. Because yeah. Because. There's no really clicking noise you hear with rounds where yeah. squares you do. Yeah. And I think that's what keeps me going with uh, square kits yeah. versus round kits. I know. And ours, like, it'll, like, snap into place. 
So like, I love that, that they, the, the, the grid that we ended up with, like the company that we ended up with, it's, they kind of click in there and it's right. so fun to like, just click them in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, then you're working at your farm store. Nice. Well, hopefully it's not too hot. It's like Ugh. hot here. It's like nineties now. It's getting up there. Gross. So. No, I'm from the South. So me too. I'm like, Georgia. uh, Yep, I'm from Georgia, born and raised. Do not miss the humidity. I will take the hundred and some odd heat tier where it doesn't have any humidity versus Georgia, which has 90% humidity, <laughs> like dying. <laughs> I don't yep. go back to Georgia in the summer anymore. It kills me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I do need to hop off of here though, because I got to get the animals situated and then go live with Donnie. <laughs> Is it oh, hot there, Kaden? I figured it was. So we've been on here for an hour and 10 minutes. We have. I always lose track of time. I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie doesn't talk at all. I talk enough for the both of us. He'd just be sitting here and be like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> I'll just talk. It's fine. I'll talk to a brick wall. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like doing lives with people. It's fun and entertaining and you know Jeannie's always like you could carry on a conversation even if no one else is I'm like yeah I'll do it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah thanks for having me on of course on. sorry Jamie couldn't make it uh, there'll be another time yep yep <sighs> hopefully four months hopefully four months he'll be back here but I think the internship that he's doing is with a company that's somewhere on the northeast corner up there so I think he has to travel sometimes, but at least it'll be better than what we're currently doing. So, right. Yep. Uh, Gina says perfect clip clicks with no gapping and no popping drills, just the right amount of space for the size of the drill. I love it. We worked hard on that. We are hard. Oh, look at Jamie. He's like, hi. <laughs> hi, Jamie. <laughs> Were your ears burning? We were talking about you. I was saying, we're <laughs> on here, and I've just been talking the whole time. And Derek's over there, kind of like you, and he's just like, yeah, Nicole's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Father, father always told me I would talk to a post if I thought it had ears. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm like, kind of an introvert, but if I'm like, if I'm going to be like, in something that I'm a talker and you can't shut me up. So. <laughs> oh, Jennifer says, thank you for keeping me company for the tail end of my shift. <laughs> uh, nothing like that. Yay for going home. You go on diamond paint. Brisa says, Jamie. Jamie's middle name is Danger, by the way. Jamie Danger Druger. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> no. <laughs> he like, I forget it. He's been most... It, I don't know. He's crazy with lives and stuff like that. Somehow he got that nickname. So. Oh my. <laughs> Jamie says hard to get a word in edgewise with you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Kaden, we're going live uh, on Donnie's channel, but it's on our channel too. So if you just go to our YouTube, then you'll see the live is in like 40 minutes. So, um, but yeah, Jamie said he was busy doing, he's doing his schoolwork. Oh, he says, I do ride a motorcycle. <laughs> Maybe that's where the name Danger came from. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I missed you too, Brenda. Yes. But yeah, thank you for having out. Oh, going to make some food. And then I think it. I think she meant DP. She said FP after this. <laughs> oh, the Doritos challenge. Maybe that's when it was. So there was Doritos and Mentos eating them together. And he came up with this whole challenge and like other people were doing it. And I was like, I'm not doing it, but maybe that's where the name, came. maybe that was Brenda. Maybe that's when the danger. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Too funny. Too funny. I should probably put this back before I lose them. But yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It's a little late for the dogs to eat, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. 
They're fine. She's sleeping. That's Buttercup. She's sleeping. She'll be fine. Ew. So Jennifer, I know. It was so funny, though. It was like, I don't know where, I, maybe it was like a challenge or something. And then Jamie got a hold of it. And it was Mentos and Doritos. And was, mm -mm. Nope, nope. But we had people that did it. We like challenged people and we gave like a gift card away if you like did the challenge and posted about it. And stuff. Oh, gross. <laughs> and I then we were sending it. Mentos out. We got a whole, Jamie ordered from Amazon while we were on our live, ordered a whole box of Mentos. And we were putting those in with people's orders. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's been like a year, Brenda. That was a long time ago. So but yeah. Night, Sophie. Yeah. Gina says she's got to go eat. Yeah. I should probably eat something too. Eat dogs. Eat. All the good stuff. So I want to welcome Bella, Bella RJ Nicole for coming on to my channel. Yeah. Thank and you. it will be. We will definitely be doing it again. Awesome. And guys, go check out her website. Two websites. Two websites. I know. Now. As well as Bella Arde Nicole. <laughs> and the two Instagrams and the two Facebook groups and the two Facebook groups <laughs> and the two TikTok. I'm like, I can't, I can't. We need to yeah. merge soon because I can't keep doing this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So we're going to let Bella Art Day Nicole get to her other live and yeah. have, have a blast. Yeah. Jamie says, yes, go eat. But yeah. So thanks for having me. Of course. And I'll see you for next time. Yes. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, um, before y'all go, I uh, I want to thank everyone for coming into my live, and we. I'm going to sign off and love yourself, guys. Love each other, guys. Have a wonderful diamond painting journey for the rest of my event this month. And then we will be getting into rocking with Reykjavik. So if you want to be part of that event, you can contact me through social media, on my YouTube channel. Just contact me and I will give you the deeds on how to uh, participate in rocking for Reykjavik, guys. So guys, love yourself. Love each other, guys. Bye.